Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about these two formulas. And I will we'll be using one of them in uh, my next video. So now, actually, those two formulas look very similar. I tried proving one with the other, but <clears throat> it didn't work out, so I'll just prove each one of them separately. And now, Let's get into proving the first one. Alright, the strategy for proving both formulas is going to be to just expand it, <coughs> add similar terms, then form it into a single sum. <coughs> so, let's see. Expanding this, <coughs> thinking about it, we'll have the first sum the sum from A to B of CN, so it's CA plus CA plus 1, plus CA plus 2, CA plus 3, and so on, until plus CB. <coughs> and then the next sum is going to start at A plus 1, so it's going to be plus the, end of, the sum will end at B, so we'll have plus C A plus 1, plus C A plus 2, and so on, until C B. And then, we'll start at A plus 2 and end at B, then A plus 3 and end at B, and so on until the last sum, which starts at B and ends at B. So it's just substituting in N equals B. So plus C, B. And now, uh, let's add similar terms. We only have one C, A in the first, uh, the first sum, and the rest sums don't have any C, A's. So it's just 1CA. Then we have two sums that have contained CA plus 1, the first and second one. So plus 2CA plus 1. Then the first three sums contain CA plus 2. So plus 3CA plus 2. And so on, plus 4, C A plus 3, plus 5, C A plus 4, until how many C B's do we have? Well, each sum ends at C B, so each sum will contain C B. So, we need to know how many sums do we have. We have, the amount of sums is how many terms we have in this big sum, from A to B. It's not that hard to figure out. That that is B minus A plus 1. So, we'll have B minus A plus 1. And <clears throat> since each sum contains CB, we'll have B minus A plus 1 CB. <clears throat> and now, we can transform this into a single sum. Because <clears throat> the coefficients is grow by 1. 1, 2, 3, until b minus a plus 1. <clears throat> and so do these. c a, c a plus 1, c a plus 2, up until c b. Meaning, uh, since it grows by 1, we can write this as just one sum. That's the type of thing. Uh, so it's going to be the sum as n goes from A to B of, since it, it grows by 1, so it's going to be N plus something, it starts at 1, the coefficients is, but the sum itself starts at A, so when we substitute A, we'll, we'll want to have, we'll substitute N equals A, we'll, we'll want to have 1. The only way we can have that uh, with 
n minus something is n plus 1 minus a. And then all of that from a to b times c of n. And that's it. That's how we derive uh, those formulas. A similar process will be for the second formula. And let's get to it right now. All right, the second sum. And like I said, a similar process for this. Expanding it, putting it into similar terms, turning it into a single sum. So, the first sum, and this big sum is the sum that goes from A to A. So just plugging in A, so it's going to be C of A. Then the next sum is going to end at A plus 1. From A to A plus 1, it's plus C A plus C A plus 1. Next is going to end at, at A plus 2, then A plus 3, A plus 4. <clears throat> and in the end, it will end at B. So, plus da da da. And then the final sum, which is two, from A to B, so plus C A plus C A plus 1 plus A plus 2, C A plus 3, so on until plus C B. And now, let's combine like terms, similar terms. So we'll start at C A. Each sum contains a CA, so it will be the same number of sums that we have in this big sum. It's from A to B. We already know that's B minus A plus 1. So it's B minus A plus 1 times CA. And then the next one is CA plus 1. C A plus 1 is in all of the sums except for the first one, meaning that it's one less the amount of, of sums we have in the big sum, so 1 minus this, which is B minus A, just B minus A, times C A plus 1. Then you can probably see the pattern, erase 1 from this, and C A plus 2 is in every sum except the first two. So B minus A minus 1 times C A plus 2 and so on. Keep on erasing 1 until we end at C B. C B is only contained in the last sum so we'll have just one of it plus C B. And now we can turn this into a single sum. Again, all of those c's are going to be c a, c a plus 1, c a plus 2, until c b will grow by 1. But then this time the coefficient says decrease by 1 each time. Well, that's not a problem. That means that we have the c n in the sum times something minus n. And we want an n equals b that it will be 1, since the coefficients of b will be 1, it is 1. So, the only way that that can happen is b plus 1 minus n. So, let's write that down. It's the sum as n goes from a to b, sum goes from a to b, and then the coefficients, like I said, b plus 1 minus n. And then times c n. And that's it. That is the second formula. And, and that's it. Those two formulas that I proved. Very similar proofs. And very simple proofs just by expanding and combining like terms. And that's it. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And finally, that is it.